viruses they take around one to three weeks to replicate and commonly how do you get viruses by contact that's the reason if you wash the hands properly the chance of the viral transmission also decreases viruses show tropism and uh, they have the receptor for certain types of cells that's what you need to basically remember now comes a interesting concept called the genetic drift and the genetic shift what is drift what is shift is my question to all of you main thing you need to remember as an mcq in the tomorrow's exam is it is the spontaneous mutations happening randomly will lead to development of the genetic drift the best example is in the influenza type b virus whereas the reassortment of the gene is the underlying cause for the development of the genetic shift which you see in influenza a and the rotavirus is what you have to basically remember so this is an example of genetic drift by chance not by a plan or not by a design but by chance only these three beetles are able to receive a mutation and they survived and you get the next generation all these kind of beetles so that is a genetic drift which is by mutation is the key word which you have to basically remember <clears throat> can you can online students can punch whether the voice is loud and clear so these are the mutations leading to the antigenic drift genetic reassortment is leading to the antigenic shift is what you have to ultimately remember now one of the favorite questions of the examiner doctor yes very good one of the favorite questions of the examiner is rna viruses and dna viruses one question i will guarantee you doctor will come from this table neat pg paper out you have to be very sure rna are enveloped viruses dna are naked viruses always exceptions exist and obviously what is the favorite mcq of the examiner based on those exceptions he will ask you a question all rna viruses are enveloped except what are the three important viruses calcivirus rio virus picorna virus you can remember cpr that we do calcivirus rio virus picorna virus are the only rna viruses which are naked all other rna viruses are enveloped please don't forget among the dna viruses all are enveloped except the herpes pox and hepatobacteria is what you have to basically remember rna viruses are all single stranded dna viruses are double stranded obviously but there are exceptions favorite bullet of the examiner which rna virus is not single stranded but double stranded rio virus and which is double stranded rota virus which has got a segmented dna they are not single stranded but otherwise all other rna viruses are all single stranded is what need to be remembered and if you look at dna all of them are double stranded what is the exception parvo virus which is single stranded hepatobacteria virus which is segmented they are the dna viruses which are not double stranded invariably one question comes in this rna viruses undergo replication in cytoplasm whereas dna viruses undergo replication in nucleus but what is an exception retrovirus is a rna virus but um it doesn't undergo replication in the cytoplasm it occurs in the nucleus poxy virus is a dna virus instead of replicating in the nucleus it will undergo replication in the cytoplasm they are the only exceptions which you have to basically remember 
Then let us talk about the polymerase. RNA polymerase is the one which you see in the RNA viruses, but that is RNA dependent RNA polymerase in the case of the retrovirus is what you need to remember. Then you will also find the DNA polymerase even though it is a RNA virus. Which one is that? That is the reverse transcriptase of the retrovirus is an example of a RNA virus which is having a DNA polymerase. Then DNA virus the only one which has got DNA dependent RNA polymerase is the foxy virus is what you need to remember. So how does the assembling occur in RNA virus? It is a cell membrane whereas DNA virus is the nuclear membrane. Then once more if you look at uh, uh, the DNA virus you have intranuclear inclusions which are seen in the DNA virus and the DNA viruses which cause cancer they replicate in the nucleus is what you have to ultimately remember. So DNA versus RNA virus the differences what are the exceptions this is one uh, nasty sickening thing to remember only for neat PG. I don't want you to remember after January you give your brain for a quick uh, formatting in the computer shop and freshly start life as a postgraduate. But until then you have to remember it obsessively on the UMedico app you can set up a reminder notification it keeps reminding, reminding you. Next week we will give you a notes loaded uh, UMedico app next uh, version getting released. Now coming to the viral entry into the cell how does virus enter? It is through the invasion where virus enters you have a viremic phase during which the patient is asymptomatic during that time gamma globulins in the body will try to act as an inhibitor for the virus proliferation. Then they will undergo adhesion to the receptors even during that time also patient is asymptomatic. Then they penetrate via receptor mediated endocytosis. Except in HIV, all of them will enter by a receptor mediated endocytosis. Then they will remove their coat, uncoating, and they will expose the RNA or DNA. That phase is called the eclipse phase. Now, this uncoating phase is there, no? There are certain inhibitors which are antiviral agents which will interrupt this uncoating process of the virus. They won't let the coat to be removed. So what are they? Amantidin, Remantidin, Selegilin, they are the antiviral agents which are used in the treatment of influenza A whose main mechanism is prevention of the uncoating is what you have to basically remember. Amantidin also has anticholinergic property. Remantidin unfortunately quick resistance develop and Seligilin is an example of a MAVO inhibitor, MAVO B inhibitor but they are also used in the influenza A treatment. So this gives you a quick summary of what we are talking. The virus binds to the cell surface, undergoes a endocytosis, forms a endosome, it will undergo uncoating, exposes its RNA that undergoes replication that produce the protein and those proteins are structural and non-structural proteins and they all undergo the assembly and uh, typically it will be budded and it get released. In any of these stages you can use the various antivirals to prevent the viruses from replicating. So common question asked by the examiner is what are the various antiviral agents at which stage? Is it the attachment stage, uncoating stage, endocytosis stage or uh, is it during the protein synthesis stage or during the release stage or assembly stage? Which stage 
the various antivirals act is a very important question. So, amantidine, remantidine. Why will you remember, doctor? Because they are the inhibitors of the uncoating. That is what you need to remember. 